Hello everyone, welcome to another Scrap Mechanics Solo Survival Series. So today we're going to do a little bit of cleaning up today. Because I have left a mess out here. <laughs> Big giant mess. We'll probably make some more gargoyles today. And... God, I love that roof. <laughs> Got distracted. So we're going to do a lot of like interior design. We're going to do some... Get some of this wall sorted out and try to make this all look nice and pretty. But first things first, let's get all this garbage cleaned up. I think I got, yeah. I'm thinking of putting a, uh, a refiner up here just for all these. Uh, sure, why not? Uh, this one is just kind of like absolutely doing nothing. And maybe what I'll do actually is uh, put the refiner here and then we'll have like, have it attached to this or whatever. And then we can get some more, uh, so we can just like back up a truck if we're like super full on something, have like double refiners going. Should be pretty awesome. And let's get some rid of this stuff in my inventory. The game file legs out my toaster, of course. <laughs> the infamous scrap mechanic lag. <clears throat> the struggle is real, folks. And I so wanted to play this yesterday, but me and Red here <laughs> had a not a good time. You got lots of stuff done without me, though. I kind of really wanted to play yesterday. Just get all the stuff out of here. So much stuff all over the place. I wonder why it kind of like hangs up on there. That's kind of weird that it does that. A lot of tote bot heads. Really? All right. <laughs> I think it's because I attached it to that spine or whatever. Nice. Yeah, so good to be in the game again. It's been a while. <laughs> well, a while for me, I guess. Five days isn't really a while. <laughs> garbage, garbage everywhere. Yeah, I'm also starting to stream earlier than I normally two points for that by the way <laughs> I could I think I like manually collecting things I don't have to be efficient all the time <laughs> Oh, geez, if I wanted to be that efficient, I could have just, like, created something like an arm that comes out and sweeps everything out. I could do that, too. Should probably check the roof to see if I can get any more stuff. No, oh, thank you, potato seeds. Be careful of that jerk over there. That jerk might ruin my day if I'm not too careful. Right, Red? <laughs> you know about creeping, uh... Creeping bots behind you. <laughs> 
Shit, do we? Yeah, okay. I have my toilet on me. Good. He's everybody's friend. He's always looking for a hug. Alright, freebie. Yeah, I guess I'll take that. That was a big can of nothing. I remember when I was playing that multiplayer game with uh, Red here. And, uh, yeah, I kind of forgot how, like, difficult it is at the very beginning of the game. It's been a long time since I started a new game. Uh-oh. This is not good. Gonna have to glitch myself out. We'll just wait till that just unglitches itself. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh, I'm way far away. <laughs> I didn't realize that was I just spawned over there. Looks like I left some wood here. Trying to get those juicy extras, I guess. <laughs> Should probably be careful. I know a red guy kind of spawns here once in a while. Oh yeah, and I hear him too. There he is. <laughs> He's creep up behind you all the time. Stay over there. Stay over there, friend. I guess I should probably collect these because I gotta paint that whole building. Might as well make it worth my while. Yeah, I'll take that. I love interior design. Leave me alone, hey bot. I don't have time for you. No time for love, Dr. Jones. I better be careful. I might actually have a raid coming up. That I may have forgot about. I 
do not want to forget about those. Yeah, I think I should probably do that garage door too. First, we better get some burgers. And maybe some ammunition. Because I bet you that red guy's hovering over my stuff. Get that moving, I guess. Yep. Oh yeah, that guy's totally ho hovering nearby. Go over and say hello. Hello? Is it me you're looking for? I can see it in your one glowing red eye. <laughs> yeah. No, don't roll towards me. Get away. Come on, get close, get close, get close. I'm gonna see y'all die. Oh yeah, it gave me totally component kits. That's nice. <laughs> Why does it have to be heads? Give me my stuff. Of course I'm full of inventory. I should really think about moving all those heads over to my next base. That's not, not going to be fun. I think I'll just put, like, maybe put some wheels on it or something. I'm making a foundation out of tilt bot heads. Ooh. All right, let's get this interior done. First, I'm going to get my crap back. Give me my garbage back. My garbage is mine. I want to make stuff out of it. Seriously? Fine. <laughs> Let's just do this, I guess. It's gonna be an awesome tote bed, tote bot foundation. I got so many heads, I figured out I may, might as well use something out of it. I'm just having my raid now. That's what I was worried about. Let's close that up. Hey. Go away. Uh. <laughs> He's wrecking all my stuff.
All right, fine. Get one to the face. Okay, I guess we're okay down here. For some reason, I thought maybe one snuck in here. Guess not. Hey, quit trying to put holes in there. It's not working. I wonder why the counter doesn't like stay in there when you log out. I wish they did have that still. Did I water the crops? Yeah, yeah. The crops have definitely been watered. I think I'll just water it again and I'll probably get that final uh Yeah, they're probably all harvest harvestable now. Oh yeah. Sweet. Alright, give me all them all that stuff. Good. Beautiful. Fortunately, you broke all my stuff. Whatever. <laughs> I guess that's kind of my fault, though. I think I'm going to redo this railing. I've got to take part of this railing anyway. So if I'm going to put this uh, grinder here, I might as well uh, take this all apart. Guess we'll just pick up the scragglers on the ground, I guess. Come on. Go the way I want you to go. There you go. Pick all this garbage up. We have to have a permanent spot for these guys too. I'll have to build something like that. And I think I'm going to have to cover this up. Like I really like this rail, but at the same time, it's... I'm pretty done with it. Time for something new. Beauty. Another stink of tote bot head. Get lost, tote bot heads. Yeah, I might just build another vehicle just to pick up all those uh, spines or whatever. What are you calling them? Because I hear people call them arms and then spines and then. I guess we can't really decide on a name for them. Scrap metal chunks. Something like that. Alright, let's hop out of here. Yeah, I think I will build a little vehicle just to pick all this stuff up. And just have it permanently in here. Just don't want all this crap here. Okay, we're not completely full. Yeah, and I think that's why I would have this thing here permanently, just to pick up all this scrap metal and whatever. Well, it should be nice. Give me that. 
Give me that. Maybe that'll just be something that we need to build today. Just a tiny little vehicle just to cruise around in. Oh, the leg. There we go. <laughs> Do your job. All right, so that, that, that. Um, yeah, let's get rid of these telepod heads again. At least I have a plan for them. I'm not like just collecting them randomly now, which is nice. At least I have a general idea what I'm going to do with it. Where are ya? There we go. Utes. Alright. Look at that little freaking Topod head did some, did a number on there. Jerk. I also kind of want to make this like evened out too. That'll be another thing. Make this wall as same thickness as that wall. I think that's one, two, three, four. Okay. It's just two. The picky on the little details. <laughs> Alright. And I really want it. I think the thing is about the interior design today. I really want to get this done. I kind of think I have to move this though. Which I'm not. That's not a big problem. But the... Uh, this watering thing might be a little bit more trickier. So I guess we'll just have to figure that out. Let's just take that out. Let's do the worst thing first. Just get it done. Hmm, nope. That will work. As long as it's all attached from each other. And they're kind of lined up too, which is good. Which I wanted to do. So I'm going to have to come up with something um, to come down. I don't know. I kind of wanted this thing to be moved over a little bit. Yeah, because I want this thing to be lined up with this. As picky as it sounds. Ah, dang it. <laughs> ah, dang it. Okay. I think we're going to have to go up on top here. Yeah, because that thing is going to line up normally. And I think I'll have this rail come, maybe come this way or something. I don't know. But this, definitely the tubing and everything will have to be relined. There.
we should have. See, that's the other thing. We said we have to make sure that we have at least a line out. Yeah, well, they still haven't given me Windex. <laughs> Chapter 2, Windex, right? Hmm, this might be tricky. Okay, so let's just do... This down here. I know this is like such a nitpicky thing, but it's there we go. And we'll keep get our uh, line to go this way or whatever. I don't even think I can do this that way. May not be able to do it this way. Looking at this. Okay, I'll figure it out. Okay. I'm seeing a flaw in my plan trying to get this lined up. Because I had the pipe coming in this way. Now, if I had the pipe coming in from the back, I could probably do it. I think I'm just going to have to do it that way. For this to line up properly. So this one will have to come in there and then we'll have to run the pipe in behind. <laughs> I do and it's just because of like the outline it's like really difficult for me to like see it that's the problem yeah, that way there we go Hey. Get there. <laughs> Finally. Yeah, because I'm going to have to come in from the back and do it. That's the only way that I can do this. Oh, why is there so much lag here? Why? I think I might have some extra pipe around here somewhere. It's a good thing I have lots of garbage hanging around. Like I even got a spare toilet. Need. What? 
that should be it. So I'll be mostly hidden away anyway. There we go, beauty. <laughs> yeah, and then that looks nice and flush or whatever, and then we could start building over top of this. Yes, I know it was kind of a pain in the ass way of doing this, but whatever. Totally worth it, though. <laughs> you want things to look nice, you have to spend the time to make them look nice. I was talking to my friend Blaine again about the uh, <laughs> speed running and stuff. <laughs> He's talking about how he wanted to like uh, speed run Death Loop. And you know me, I'm not really a speed runner type guy. And like, why don't you just enjoy the game? <laughs> Try to instead of thinking that you should speed run it. And it's, we are very different in that aspect, though. He wants to see how quick he can do the game, and then me, I just like taking my time. I like the idea of just sitting there and building stuff. No rush. So think about that, and then we'll have some stairs come down. What is going on here? There we go. So long story short, I was just like basically telling him, you know, I'm kind of the tortoise, he's kind of the hare kind of thing. Which I thought was kind of funny. Hmm. Okay. Let's get rid of some of this inventory. I need some other stuff anyway. Again, if I have any more of that. Yep, nope, that's what I'm looking for. Honestly, I just need this for just one. So, that's not too bad. Perfect. And I guess I could reuse these metal pipes to go back, to go on here, to create that design. I gotta remember how long this was, or should I put, thinking I might put another light there. To take the one out of there, I don't really need it though. That's not what I wanted to put in there. Yeah, I don't think I'll put another light in there. So, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yes, that's nine. Let's put one there. I also don't want this to like kind of freestand. Hence another reason why I might have to take this out. I 
And I might make a bridge that goes this way just for a continuity sake. Make it look like it's part of the build. Yeah, I think that'll look good. Now, I was going to change up uh, the way that I was going to do these stairs. Even these ones right here. I think I'm going to change them. Let's see if I could use something else. Once again, more expensive product. So I'm going to use these long I-beams. I might have some available here. May not have these, so. May not have these I beams available. Oh, there's one. I might use these up too. Just gonna use this as like a test to see if it's if it's worth doing this or not. Hmm. Now that's the other question. Didn't exactly have that so it's even. Might be a minor detail that I think I could live with. You can look at this minor detail. We'll just have it staggered so it's like kind of part of the design, I guess. God, that's bright. Let's turn that down just a bit for now. That's a little too bright for me. <laughs> I can actually see what I'm doing now. See if this works. Yeah. Let's... Let's come out more. Right. So I think we need what is this one, two, three. So three more. Okay. Three's not too bad. Tricky part. And then we have to figure out how, a way to get this all stuck together. Because these bricks are only temporary. 
Gotta make them temporary. There we go. Alright. And I'm going to over here, actually. That looks weird now, so we need, let's see, one, two, three. One, two, three, okay, six. Six of them. Yeah, that might actually look kind of bizarre on there. Whatever. I think we'll just have to live with it. With the limited amount of things that you can make stuff out of. Should probably use these I-beam holders. See if we can use those. And one in here. Just to add like a little bit of detail to this. Yeah, that actually might look really good on there. So I might make a couple of those. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> we need to get rid of some of this stuff. This is getting kind of crazy. This is getting nutty. Need to clear out my inventory. Buttes. Yeah, I guess we'll just have to do it this way. Wrong one. Hmm, miscounted, I guess I need one more. One more of those, right, and you make me some of those. Yeah, that doesn't look too bad. I like that. Now, the other thing, I'm going to figure out a way to keep this stuff up. This one, on the other hand, we're going to have to leave as it is. I might just maybe make a cheat underneath it or something to make it work. Hmm, I think we're going to need more than that. Yeah, if I put this in here. Yeah, okay. 
so we need like two more of those. Yeah, and if I remove these blocks underneath, I think a lot of these things are actually going to come apart. So I think I got a plan for that. Think. <laughs> Not 100%. I think I have a plan. I'm really not too worried about the ones underneath it, though. Oops. Yeah, see, that's what I'm worried about. That thing falling over like that. So, let's see. I think we're going to have to use wood. And just make a stairwell a cheapo way of doing this but I kind of want to make it look like a floating staircase. Okay. Then I could probably put this back. There, that's better. Yeah, and I'm going to have like kind of like rails coming down there because I'm going to put like rails up on here and all the way around this as well. Now let's get rid of those grumbles. <laughs> That's super annoying to listen to. I guess I could have done this. Do it that way. I kind of don't want to hide all this though. Don't really want to hide too much of my work. Though I don't like the ends on these. Actually, let's not do that. Oh, like this, more of a thinner one. Yeah, now I'll make all these ones like kind of like white or whatever. I think I'll look better. Do I even have any more of these? Those are kind of like special parts, too. I might. Because those aren't regular pipes. I might have to go to a warehouse and just grab a couple. Oh, I've got four right there. I don't think I'll have to do that. Do I have... Let's see. I don't think I have a small one, do I? Nope. 
Always gotta make more sh shit. Yeah, that looks good. It'll look really good when it's painted, though. And, before I forget, I'm going to have to rehook all these up. This is the part I was not really looking forward to. Bring that back. Same with that one. I think the next interior part of it will probably be the basement. Just for to make it look more complete. I was thinking about redoing the farm and I'm just like, nah. <laughs> Anis, how are you? I am doing well. And yourself? And this is the last time I'm going to do this. <laughs> Hopefully. Oh, shut up, beeper. <laughs> Nobody likes you, Justin Bieber. Just another day in the shop. That's all attached, right? Okay. That should be okay now. Now I gotta figure out how to. So I gotta go past at least this. I don't think I'm going to make this one because it's. I think that's kind of in the way. Yeah, I think this one might be in the way. So if I was going to do it, I'd have to do it on an angle. But you know, it would just be easier just to make another. Uh, another chest. Then I had to go go glue hunting. 
Not like I need it right away. So right, I only have 186 component kits. <laughs> so not a big loss. And I wish things would act go faster though. Give me another upgrade so I can make things go faster. So that's gonna have to go up that way. Still gonna have to have piping to make this work. Got the line up there, I guess. Actually, I might have to come out a little bit more. So we're gonna have to move the pipe up and then over and then down. Don't tell me I have to make more piping. Ah. There's one. I don't want to make more piping. Nope. Uh, there's that. What a noob. <laughs> noob mistakes. I guess we always make noob mistakes. Just we're not infallible to making dumb mistakes, I guess. Okay, so that one's gonna go there. Not quite lined up. Guess we'll just have to make a couple corner pieces anyway. No glass. I got glass in here somewhere. Let's <laughs> make a mobile base, but you didn't have the stone. It's not the stone for grinding. First world problems. It's like I can't find glass right now. Got seven on me. I'm pretty sure I dumped some glass in here somewhere. Oh, there's another corner piece. I guess I don't have to make that. Glass. Glass. <laughs> glass. <laughs> no glass for me. No glass for me. I got it. I must have dumped it at least in here. Gonna save here just in case. I'm not gonna make that mistake again. Hmm. Yes, I have no glass. Ooh, very little stone too.
not very much stone left. I have a feeling I'm gonna have to go and do some more grinding for stuff again. Oh yeah, and I need stone for that glass because I have not finished the... Uh, I have yet to finish the roof actually with the uh, glass. Hmm. Okay. Maybe I should. Maybe I should go do some grinding for some glass. Underneath. I think we could get underneath that. It's getting kind of sketchy to uh, working underneath here. What the hell did this come from? Random blocks laying on the ground. There I go. Yeah, we'll just move that over just a bit. And then we don't have to make another piece. Slide it in there. There. Then when we get the uh, other vehicle, we could just use this. Have a parking spot or something right there for it. Just for the old little Abot spines or whatever the hell we're calling them. <laughs> is this thing elevated? Yeah, okay, it is. All right. Sad to see this railing go. I liked it, but it's like. I don't think this is what this build needs anymore. Things change, right? Or about the other side another time. This looks okay. Now, the other question, actually, I'll probably have to grind for some more uh, metal anyway, because I'm going to have to make a lot of railing. I think I got a good idea for railing, but... Let's see what happens first. Do I? Yes, I do. I think I'm going to have to move this. Start moving it up. I 
think I shouldn't get myself too ahead of myself. I'm going to have to... Let's just get this stairwell done and then this done first before I go grind for more, for more stuff. go I think that's as far as I want to go we'll make this work figure it out I guess I could reuse all this stuff for, for railing, I guess. Why not? Okay. Alright, so... Yeah, okay, I did get it roughly about the right area. I know where I wanted to be. Okay, so hmm. So I think we'll kind of like make an arch or whatever right there. But I kind of wanted to like leave this exposed too, so I can grab all the goodies from there. This one could come in a little bit more. Oh, I really don't like how that's blocking. Hmm. Now we'll just change that up. We'll make not make that as thin as the uh, as this one. I think we're going to have to go hunt for more <laughs> wood, too. <laughs> That's craptacular. That's blocking. Oops. Where you come from? <laughs> Where did you come from, man? Yeah. Don't think I have any more wood on me. So we're going to have to go to... The base, other base. And we get my miner and my cutter. Clear all our 
inventory. Don't think I need that. Guess you'll be my paint thing. <laughs> I guess. Toilets. My tool with me. All right. All right, let's head out. Nope, nope, don't go over the edge. <laughs> nope. Nope. <laughs> ah, that bridge is useless sometimes. I like my bridge, but at the same time, it's kind of useless. Yeah. I'm just that terrible. I don't know. There's something wrong sometimes. About, I think it's just the lag. Because I kind of open over a compensate for the steering. Like, I could steer probably better if I had better frames. But that's just life. <laughs> it's never perfect. Wasn't even that good of a driver in real life either. I don't think I even grabbed any spuds or anything. Eh, not the worst thing in the world. One day I'll make my mining vehicle actually look nice. Right now it's just kind of like, I just built them to like for function right now. Okay, so which one do we need more? Do we need, um, wood more or do we need now nah, let's just do, do some metal shit how much uh, gas okay I'm good on gas all right let's find some easy rocks to grind It's kind of easy over there. Should probably just yeah. <laughs> forget and die a horrible, horrible death and have to walk hundreds of miles, get my stuff back. <laughs> All right. Ah, you jerk. <laughs> I 
Nobody invited you to this party. I've had that happen in real life. <laughs> Where somebody came over and you're just like, why are you here? I don't even like you. Oh, so-and-so invited me. Yeah. Yeah, I've been to a few parties like that where I've seen people I didn't like. I was like, I'm out. Peace. Oh, why not? Oh, she's here. That's why. <laughs> yeah, too many of those kind of parties. Come on. I'll, I think it's uh, the most annoying part is that steering is not exactly perfect. I should probably adjust that. I don't think this is like a full seat, is it? So I can't adjust the steering a little bit. Uh, that might be something I might want to take into consideration. Get in there. Get it. Ugh. All right. There we go. That's where I wanted to be. It's fine, we'll do this the other way. Never too late. Yeah, great. Okay. And... I think this was a bad rock to choose. I always hate doing the rocks on the hills. They're just a pain. Give me those sticky wheels immediately. Then we could start doing uh, doing those ones more frequently. I don't think we're gonna go into that forest again. I made mistakes last time. Going into that forest. One of those die over and over and over again things. Kinda don't wanna do that. What is going on here? Let's see what the problem is. This needs to go the other way. Why you no grind? <laughs> there we go. All right. Let's go find a different place to go do rocks. This place sucks. <laughs>
do want to be cautious about this forested area though because I know there's red guys in there. But in all honesty, they're the best places to grind rock. Yeah, let's just do a little scout. Just so there's no red guys around that I did not see. Because I was dumb enough not to bring ammo this time. Should be okay to grind this one. These, at least these two. Too many physics going on here. Ah, that's fine. Can't move backwards. That crap. I think they're going to have more rocks in the caves in the future. They just said something about crystals that we have to like grind out in the caves. Who knows what that's going to be used for? Probably to make the plasma drills, my guess. Oh, that's all glitched out now. Okay. We could fix that. Ooh, that uh, big pile of rocks there looks like a big lag fest. Perfect. Let's do two frames a second. Let's go. <laughs> so, there, there, there. Let's get, we should probably be cautious about I could definitely take out a red guy with this machine, but I don't want one like popping out of nowhere. I might start a glow boot farm. Because from the sounds of it, it doesn't sound like I need to um, start a new game. I'm, I'm gonna need explosives eventually. And I need, I need that poop. Yes, that's what I want. All right. Let's not make this into a lag fest.
Come on. I think it might actually be these ones right here are the problem. Get last. Get off my car, man. I don't think a glow poop farm would be that hard to make either. Let's not fall down there. Hi. Gotta unlag this place. It's almost like making your uh, your grinder almost like too efficient. Well, if you get like four of them and then you put like a, um, a vacuum shooting out, then once in a while, like you'll have enough poop done pretty quick. The hardest part is like keeping them in the water and then trying to collect, like you'll have to manually pick up the poop. And nobody likes picking up poop with their hands. You gotta get it automated. <laughs> oh, believe me, if I can get like a, a machine of something that picks up my dog's poop, I'd buy that thing. Especially when it's been like wet outside for a while. You all have to try that in a test branch, but I, I was thinking it would just be easier to get like four vacuums, stick them underneath their butt, right? Yeah, but you live like in a bigger piece, so like a piece of property that you can just go like way out, right? Where my dog is like. You know, I'm in the city, so... But I've also trained my dog to poop at the side of the house on the gravel, so... I guess I should be fortunate he's able to, like, just poop in one spot. I know other people don't get that lucky. But he's also a Border Collie, so he's not a stupid dog, either. <laughs> he's not like a Shih Tzu, or a... <laughs> You know, bear bait. <laughs> yeah, no, I have a very small piece of property that I live on. So. It's one of those, it's not big, but it's mine kind of thing. Like I said, he can poop on the side, no problem. <laughs> I love how we had a conversation that started with uh, <laughs> trying to get go glow poop in the uh, in the game, and then talking about poop in real life, particular dog poop. <laughs> Basically, it's called it's called like um, kind of like a zero lot. 
Like the houses are not attached to each other, but you only got like one little strip. It's hard, it's really hard to explain, basically. Yeah, and like, you know, the lots that we have here where I live, well, at least in the newer areas. Um, yeah, people don't want yard space anymore because it's too much maintenance, right? So a lot of people live in like smaller houses. Like they still have like lots on them, but there's not really much you can do with those lots. Wow, that just exploded. <laughs> nice. Ba blam! <laughs> I love it when it does that. That's so satisfying, actually. Just an eruption of rock all over the place. Yeah, a lot of people where I live don't want to live on... They want to have big houses, but they don't want to have, like, big lots. They don't want to mow their lawn. <laughs> See, I would love to have a bigger, bigger yard. I'm kind of the opposite in that way, but... I also don't want to maintenance all that yard either. Yeah, they are really small in Surrey. Yeah, and they're very, it's very similar to that. Are we talking Surrey, BC or? <laughs> Cause you just never know. Oh, Surrey, BC, yeah, yeah. Yeah, cause I have relatives that live out there. Yeah, definitely one thing's for sure. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> one thing's for sure is um, nowadays, is, I think just people are just too busy with their day to day lives to actually own. Getting hungry. Or just too busy now. <laughs> yeah and there's a lot especially in the older areas like we have that same problem too in the older areas closer to downtown and stuff just old building codes that's all how much stuff we got. Oh, I do have spuds here. Sweet. <laughs> Good thing I looked in there. I was worried I was going to have to bite somebody. A red guy came around. I was going to be able to defend myself. Ah. They never remember what I put everything in there. I think that kind of like job would be really neat to go into like people's houses and finding like old stuff. Particular for me, if I was gonna do that job, it'd be like so fascinating. I have a weird fascination for like pinball machines. Oh, in Surrey? Yeah, it's way too much. Ridiculous. Like we complain about ours right here. No, Surrey's anywhere near Vancouver is just bad. Housing is like too much and just everything, just general cost of living out there is just outrageous. It's like I love the sea and everything and be, I would love to be near the sea, but I just, I don't think I could ever afford to live out there. 
Not particularly with the job that I have. I think it took me a long time to figure out what kind of job I wanted to do. I think I was about 30 years old where I was just like, yep, I want to be a butcher. <laughs> yeah, and my and same here, like even the house that I live on, it's like it's a it's expensive. It's ridiculous expensive. Like I used to live in another in, in another city and then like the house that you can get out there, right? Like when you move into like a place that like Vancouver or uh, Toronto or Calgary or Edmonton, any of those big cities, there's always like some kind of like sacrifice that you have to make. And it's usually always the uh, housing. Yeah, because you live out in like Saskatchewan or something like that. And yeah, housing is reasonably priced. But like I said, there's always positives and negatives to where you live, right? Something kind of... See, here, here's the other other problem with like the housing in, in our area too. It's like when you want to get a reasonable priced house, you don't get anything unique. All the houses are very cookie cutter. Like there's about six other houses on my where I live that are very very similar to to one another like exactly the same layout and everything and so you don't get anything unique the only thing that we make our house unique is by actually you know making our house Kind of like no, it's got like really good fur reveal. If I were ever gonna sell it, and I think me, yeah, my house is definitely not a hundred years old. <laughs> See, and that's it. I like my house is probably, mm, I'm guessing, eighteen years old. See if like. If you had a hundred year old house where I live, it would be part of like the historic society. But it's no different than when you live in uh, a place like Italy or something like that, or India where people live in like thousand year old houses or hundreds, even like, there, your house would still be considered to be new in their eyes, right? I always thought that was interesting when I went to Italy. It's just these people living in these like hundreds and hundreds of year old houses. And it's the same in like, I think in, uh, in France and stuff like that too. All those European countries that people live in these like really ridiculously old houses. <laughs> Hell, even the hostel I stayed at was like older than, you know, my city. <laughs> That place was already built before they even built anything on my in my city. And it was a hostel. <laughs> it's just I was also very fascinated by the rats. I know that doesn't really um people are just like rats. 
<laughs> like I saw a pair of rats out there eating, wandering around. And I thought it was like the weirdest thing. Cause like where I come from, we don't get rats. We don't have rats. Our, uh, our province is considered to be rat free. So it was a real oddity to see, uh, see rats. <laughs> My wife was just like wondering why I was so fascinated about it. And it's just like, dude, we don't get this shit here, man. <laughs> we don't get this stuff where I'm from. I've never seen a wild rat like in. Same with like, you know, like we do have raccoons, but you don't see them. You don't see them where I'm, I'm from. We have them, but they're never in the city, which is weird. Skunks, on the other hand. Oh my goodness. Skunks are always in our always in our place big ones too and porcupines so yeah there's a little bit of uh, weird stuff that happens really because like when I went to um, I went camping to uh, in Washington and this little raccoon just wandered into my like into my camp spot and did, I think somebody was feeding it that's probably why but but wasn't that wouldn't be the first time I've ever seen a raccoon but it's always like in that like in Washington <laughs> yeah you know what the, the most frightening thing is is when people are feeding the bears where I'm from. Like, we literally have to have signs that says, don't feed the friggin' bears. And yet, people still do it. And just like, just so you know, like, if that was mom's... If that If that was a mom and his cub was nearby, it would tear you to shreds. And they're so close. Like, you can see them. It's not even just black bears. It's like grizzlies and brown bears. Especially in the spring. They're just like everywhere. Well, not in the city at least. Very, 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 very rarely do we get them in the city. But definitely when you're out in, out in the wilderness. Thank you. Yeah, like I said, we don't have a problem with raccoons. Not to say that we don't have them. It's just... We just don't see them. And our, our, all our garbage cans are like... Basically from... This, they're city garbage cans anyway, so... They're pretty locked tight. Yeah, I always check out the Reddit and we don't really hear anything about raccoons. It's always skunks. I've seen many, many a skunks in my time. Oh yeah, coyotes too. Always wandering into, into the city a lot. That's only because the rabbits come in. They just follow where the food source is. Lots of people's dogs go missing. <laughs> There's always some like, I always see the, this lost picture of this dog. And it's like this little tiny dog. And I'm like, no, oh, Coyote got that thing. Sorry to say to that to you, dude, bud, but. Yeah, you definitely are a smart animal. It's like them and the octopus. Like, you ever seen an octopus? Like, like they can open jars and stuff. It's really weird. I saw it on a documentary one time. Those things are crazy smart. They're not so smart when I eat them, though. I don't know how anybody would have those things as a pet. You imagine having that thing wandering around your house. 
and we just end up eating all the food all the time. Like you wouldn't be able to leave a door un like unlocked or anything or bolted down so the raccoon can't get in there. You would have to actually have a key for your pantry. <laughs> I'm certainly glad we have not domesticated that animal. Or tried to. I know some people have them as pets, but like why? <laughs> strange people Let's see how our source uh, I'm getting pretty good pretty full here I never thought I'd say I'm just grinding away for the stone <laughs> just really that's what I'm doing doing this for the stone actually we'll finish this off and I think I'll ship you enough I think we might have to grind for some, uh, for some wood though. I guess that's full. Yeah, well, let that do its job. Let's go raid that area over there, just for fun. I wonder if that red guy is still in the, uh, like I lured him into that. Probably not. He's probably just spawned. Yeah, because I stuck him in there one day. Kind of curious. Let's check it out. Oh, yeah, he's gone. Nope. Nope. That chest was full of stuff I did not want. I'm just happy with my dog. I don't think I need any other animal. <laughs> I officially made my wife a dog person. Like, she used to have a bird. I didn't mind that bird. He was pretty, pretty nice, but... Um, no, my wife will officially just want dogs. Dogs only. I had a cat, too. He was pretty playful. Very, he wasn't one of those, like, psychotic cats. Hello, guys. You always OP if you make sure you got it. If you got the guns. See, I don't know why they don't already have a marker just for the uh, for the farmer. Like, it's kind of a necessary thing. Like, they have one for the mechanic station. Don't want you. Pick gas though for free. Because I really don't need gas either. I think first things first is that we got to get uh, <laughs> we got to get a, a a good working vehicle. Like we got a vehicle, but we don't have like the working vehicle. One that can just, like, do a few things. So that's usually, like, interchanging out the parts for, like, saws and then uh, a drill is not an issue. So we got to get the uh, engine fully upgraded so we're not wasting as much fuel. And we got to make it big enough to move around stuff in. I built the base in the trader. Like he does have a water source, so it's not like he can't 
you know, um, build a good farm there. But I'm also one of those people that likes to make sure we have a uh, chemicals nearby so you can make as much concrete as possible. Actually, you know what would be really sweet for a game? Parachute. <laughs> it's a little thing you could just like hop out of here and then parachute down or something. Glide down. I think a parachute would be awesome. Yeah, and we got fine farmers. I think we should really concentrate on the truck because we need to move all that, move all that product. Because we got, you got the vacuum, right? You got um, the start of a vehicle. We just need to get a vehicle that's can do more for us, and then we can work on indivi having individual vehicles for individual purposes. So we're on the right track right now, I think. Well, I feel when I when I start a game, that's kind of how I start. Let's get a good vehicle first. Yeah, but if you don't have a good vehicle to move all that stuff, right? Like, yeah, you can move it by hand, but who wants to do that? <laughs> Plus the cage farmer too. I don't want to have to like knock a cage farmer all the way to the to the farmer to the trader or whatever. That seems like a pain in the butt. I was thinking doing like kind of like a, a attachable flatbed. Like we can unattach this part for the flatbed or whatever. I think that would be handy. Get in there. There we go. Beauty. Yeah, and that's another thing. Yeah, I definitely we need to make the other vehicle bigger. For sure. That's all I'm saying. It's just Got to have it so we can have a two-seater. <laughs> this is multiplayer. We don't have one-seater, uh, one-seaters, two-seaters. And maybe ma multiplayer might actually work <laughs> next time too. I'm thinking maybe Sunday. I'm hoping Sunday. Because I got that small little appointment or whatever, and then Did I get everything, kinda. Get all these stupid crappy ones out of the way. I think we might have enough stuff here. It doesn't look too bad. Okay, yeah, I think that's good. I'm gonna need wood next. Yeah, 
okay, we definitely need wood next. Probably won't need a truck that big, but <laughs> I'm still thinking kind of the same design, so it's easy. I'll just leave that potato in there for now. Now, let's go grind some wood. spot we were in looked pretty good anyway I did see like kind of like the better trees on there I always find like grinding these trees is kind of like more of a pain just a waste of time for the garbage wood if I was going to get garbage wood I just like rob it from the uh, other little buildings there I guess So let's see, there's one. You won't hear the motor because <laughs> it's a battery motor. That's why. Hey, get it ass. Surprisingly, the uh, battery makes it like an amazing, like the battery motors makes an amazing car, that's for sure. Yeah, it's super mega quiet. It only activates when you're like actually pushing it where the other motor just like, you know, it's always seems like it's continuously on. You probably never made it. Uh, <laughs> hey, um, hey. I don't like you. Get out of here. I know some people just don't bother making battery motors, but I was just collecting so many, like, batteries <laughs> that I just had to make something with it. I was just like, ah, I don't want these things just piling up. We'll just hack this up to little bits. My super efficient machine. <laughs> kind of happy how like efficient this thing is.
Yeah, for some reason, I don't know what it is with the engine. The engine for, for the battery one is just way better. Way better for driving. I think one of my older worlds, I had a, like just a, uh, a car, which I just used to like, basically as my scouting vehicle or whatever. And it just worked better with the electric engine. I guess they would have to do that so there's some advantages between the two of them, I guess. And believe me, on the electric engine, you can like make that thing motor like super mega fast. But I think I just wanted to go with the gas engine this time for, for my scouting vehicle. stuff all in one spot. UT. Uh, probably gonna have to grind for more and more wood. I'm just like wondering. I don't know why I have to like make so much wood. <laughs> why did I decide to use that material? And not even a crappy wood. It's like the good wood, right? Guess everybody makes mistakes in their builds. What is going on here? <laughs> We have it glitched out. A piece of wood. In there. The grind is real, that's for sure. Real pain in my ass. Get in there. Really should make a double grinder for that one. Okay. And the crappy thing is that there's not really anything over here that I can just like, you know, raid a quick building while this is like grinding down either. Just this one. I kind of don't want to stray too far either. 
don't want to stray too far just because uh, this thing won't work. I don't want to leave all this stuff here either because I'll forget about it. Get just back to the mega base. All right, that's good. Let's get out of here. It's getting asked. Now my way, cow. This whole part just to the other machine too. I'm gonna do double duty. So we can get lots quicker. Let's see if we can get this nice and close. Maybe we might not get that lucky. I'm pretty much almost done anyway. Oops. Did not want to do that. Yeah, I think that might be enough. Let's see. Let's not change that sprint. Why are you still moving? Stop being a weirdo machine. I think it's still moving. No. Okay. <laughs> it's not supposed to be moving by itself. Ah, I wish this would stop happening too. 
I think it's a little bit funny, but at the same time. Wish that would stop glitching through. That would be nice. I bought these honey crisp apples and they are sour, man. They're a little too sour. Good enough. <laughs> Alright, let's go make some windows. Let's get this nice and pretty. You glass. Yeah, we might have to go get some embers. Oh yeah, no, I slept in that bed. Just for you. <laughs> Just so you know. I'm in. No, I did that when I got back to the base, I, I remember. Oh, not going to make that mistake again. Okay... So, do this. Hmm. Yeah, that works, I guess. I think the biggest thing is I don't want to like block this up too much. And I think that's still like a little. Might be a little too much. And we'll leave that thing open. All right, I'll throw some bricks in front of that. So I really don't want to see that part. It's kind of really coming together. It's like the like big Lebowski where that. Uh, Rug really pulled the room together. I really love that movie. <laughs> Both me and my wife like that movie a lot. I always find that most Cohen mo movies I like, with the exception of The Lady Killers. That was a terrible movie. <laughs> It's like one of those movies that, uh, what were they thinking when they made it? I think my Fargo is like my favorite movie that they did of theirs.
don't think I have any brick, do I? Yep, definitely don't have any brick. Might have thrown it in here, too. Yeah, there's my little bit of brick. Definitely not short on metal now. That's for sure. I also gotta make sure that I make this like kind of a 3D space too. Right, you know like these have their like little depth or whatever in them. And I don't have that with this one. So maybe I should widen this up. Well, no, I guess I really can't there. This one right here. Okay, so. Okay. So, but we do that, I guess. So it doesn't look so odd. Yeah, that I could think I could live with. And just kind of it like that. Actually, it looks like there's some structure in it. I would like to widen this out, though. I don't think I'll put those poles or whatever in there though this time. kind of weird to have that like this two wide and the other one one wide okay so we'll just take that out just for symmetry's sake getting picky about the little details again Also, I have to ask myself, what like, <laughs> what should this also serve, right? Hmm. That oh, looks weird. Let's take that out. Now yeah, it's better. That's better. That's a piece in there, so I can't take that out. Okay. Good, it's enough. Let's 
So here. So I have these like little breaks in, in there. Oops. With wood. Once again, just picky about the little details in there. do anything. As long as I can still grab it, that's all that matters. good ish <laughs> I should be able to still grab that bring that up a little bit nicer That's good. Still not looking forward to painting this whole thing. <laughs> All right, next thing, let's make this wall match. So I'm gonna have to look at this. Actually, I think I'll have that more center when I'm done. Just move this. What? <laughs> All right, fine. These things are starting to become a nuisance again. I still like the sign here though. That's centered. So we'll still have that jet out, I think. This could come out and oops. just remove some of this so we can save on brick, which kind of uh, it's a weird statement in itself. <laughs> it's usually something I always have way too much of and now I'm running out. So two and across. Okay, it looks like this will have to go. Hmm. 
Mm -hmm. Kind of miss that, but oh well. Like I said, can't be picky about all the details. Here. That's starting to shape out. Then we can have all these um, all these uh, things recessed in there properly. Uh, mm. So I made that. Oh, okay, never mind. I thought I made a mistake, and I'm wrong. Let's see if I find it. All right, right in the R. Still open. Good. <laughs> Still opens. I think I'll ha still have these shelves deep. And this one we'll put like that. Or, actually, let's move this so Oops. Whoopsies. It's a good thing I'm hiding all the mechanical stuff of this. Just a bit. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay. Uh, it's nitpicky about the details. Let's get all the garments and everything, and this won't matter anyway. Oops. Go pitch a dress bot off the cliff. Go. Yeah, should be enough room between there. Get my sign back up. Throw a few plants down there. There. <laughs> it's starting to take shape a little bit. It's starting to get organized. I gotta make a bathroom. One day. I think what we'll do. And then all these stairs and everything, we're going to probably make like these ones right here. 
I think we'll only have it like four wide. Or maybe six wide. And we can have the ends on there. Yeah, that'll look good. I think we'll make them six wide up here. And this is just mostly for base defense. Yeah, it's starting to look a little good. Yeah, so I thought it was behind there. This one will just cover up with wood and brick. All right, that looks good. That looks a little wonky, actually. Hmm. Well. Hide it with something, I guess. Though that cor corner over here looks a little weird too, anyway. Something I don't think I can get away with. Maybe we'll just... Actually, we'll probably just throw some signage or something in there. And then sometime we'll do something with that wall, I guess. I'm still debating whether or not I should have this thing open or not. Like a little window you can look down. This one, I definitely will. Because you already have kind of a way down. Definitely want to hide this, though. Maybe with wood. Yeah, that'll work for now. <laughs> Guess we don't need this controller here anymore since it does nothing. It used to have a rail there. Yeah, I don't think that'll work. Guess we don't have to get too fancy with this one.
then we can actually have a home for these guys. I think what I'll do, I'll use these. Those weird things that uh, <laughs> kind of put them on like a pedestal or something if they fit. Yeah, okay. That works. Make them all like spaced out a little bit nicer. works okay Yeah, and I'll put some windows and stuff. How's it going? Hey, Froza. Forza. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> How much window do we got? Okay, you need to stop. Now, I got way too much sand in here. We need to go hunt. Hunt down more uh, embers. Yeah, okay. Starting to come together a little bit here. Actually, let me grab one of these. And give me an excuse to go get more of these. <laughs> Be a nice change, and we'll put some on the other side too. Yeah, it works. I don't have to put this stupid thing here either. Just have it straight up bricks. <laughs> yeah, he's just doing other things. Just supporting. <laughs> yeah, that looks good. All right. All right, so... Hmm... The grumblies. Wish they'd add more cutlery to this game. <laughs> that would be nice. Have a plate here. Oh, I see. 
I'm out of wood MR. More mesh block. Yep, yeah, used all my wood. I guess I could start stealing some of this. I think I'm gonna make that uh, something else. There. This are evenly spaced out right for. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that works. She works. Actually, you know what I'm going to make? I'm going to make this like kind of like a cabana of some sort. Which means I'm going to go out to rob some stuff. We need stuff. <laughs> Maybe grab some extra signage too. I think there's like some do not enter signs I could probably grab. Go find some. There we go. Out of the lag zone. Screech. All right. There's that do not enter sign. So I'll grab that. I wonder if there's a possibility I can get one of these things that are not ripped. Guess uh, beggars can't be choosers at this point. Actually, let's take a look at these ones. Actually, I think these ones. But the metal will look a little bit nicer. Coca, Coca Cabana. <laughs>
That guy had some sweet air into my bumper. <laughs> oh, these guys respawn. All right. Fine. Get back in there. I clear out this place of the locals. As they just attacked everything. I wonder if that thing respawned up there. Might have. How many potatoes do I have? Not enough to take down a red guy. Hi. Get wrecked. <laughs> that do not need any more than I'll take that and that one up 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 that was close <laughs> My respawn wasn't that far away. I did not need you. All right, epic loot. Ah, <laughs> guess I'll just see. Just get rid of. Hmm. Kind of want all this stuff. <laughs> yeah, all right, let's glitch out of this world again. All right, this time we didn't. Nice. <laughs> Thank you. 
When I first started, I did that. <laughs> Glitched straight in out of this world again. Not this time, man. Not today. In there. Hmm. Maybe I should need to space these guys out a little bit more. Or bring them in maybe just a bit. Should be okay ish. And I guess we'll just kind of space out these guys properly. Hmm, actually, I don't really like this here. Just move it over just a bit. Yeah, and then this won't look so weird either. Trying to get it centered in here. Being nitpicky with the little things, I guess. That's about center, I think. Yeah, looks pretty good. I think. Looks good. That I am satisfied with. That 
by two, I guess. Hmm, this guy doesn't seem very center. Get out of my neighborhood. <laughs> Get out of my neighborhood. Someone needs to come over just a bit. Yeah, that's better. That looks good. I think that's good enough. Good enough for that. All right, I'm gonna work on the window here. Now, what do we got for window choices? Square window, rectangular window. All right, let's see what you do. See what you look like. You're gonna work. Ish, I guess. It's gonna be the right height, though. Nah, I think we'll go with the bigger ones. Big windows. I think that might do it. Yeah, that fits way better. That fits way, 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 way better, better. I don't wood, so temporary block. Let's build another one. One more.
Yeah, we'll put that wood in there or whatever. Yeah, it'll look good. You can see stuff in there. Find it all along. <laughs> And we'll probably do another design like that. Maybe a high arching. I don't know. kind of don't want to do a bridge there because then it's just going to end up... My larger contraptions are probably going to hit that. Or maybe even a drawbridge. That'd be kind of neat. Or a bridge that comes down or something. Hmm. Things to think about. I think that should be higher up. Or rod some more wood. <laughs> I kind of wish that these things wouldn't be like, look like they're trash though. <laughs> wish I can get junk that looks like new junk. Well. Oh well. This is how to go somewhere else sometime. another sign up there if I wanted to. <laughs> that doesn't seem like it's a correct way. At least the bottom's turning out nicely. That's kind of nice. Looking tip top. This one could come out. We'll have to use wood there. 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 There she blows. Yeah, definitely got to work on the railing over here. Something. I 
think maybe we should put lighting here. So I think I'm gonna build something like that, but it'll just be for lighting. Oof. Buttes. Hmm, okay. This look too bad. Now, question. Work on the rail. Maybe. I think I should probably stir my dinner. I've been cooking for a while. I'll be back. Oh yeah, I got stirred. Okay. You know what? We need those embers. Should just go for that, I guess. Be a nice easy one to go grab. Cause I need the glass. I don't know what point turn that was. It worked.
What is lagging this area out? Probably all the tape bots over there, I'm thinking. I'm like really overly focused right now. Need to be more chatty. <laughs> Gets that in there. All right. Let's go up this way. Hey, cow. The last. Get out of my way. I think I wiped everything out in this area. Yeah, looks like I got every every bush there. The next one. Ah, yeah, yeah, UT. <laughs> Try 
trouble making robots. You do not stra scratch the car, man. Not cool. Yeah, bad robots everywhere. Bad robot. <laughs> One of them tried to scuff my paint, my paint job on my car. I taught him a lesson. Death. die a horrible 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 death I think that's enough embers. Gotta move on.
out of his misery. <laughs> Imagine hitting a deer with your car, and then the only way that you can put him out of his misery is the sledgehammer. Yeef. <laughs> kind of did that to that robot. Let's give him a little brain to that. Right. Let's go make some glass. Running out of space again. Thanks for the follow, by the way. Uh, not today. I already got a chum I play with uh, for multiplayer. He's red eye. <laughs> He's trying to steal you. He's trying to steal me from you, red eye. <laughs> Chum, buddy old pal. <laughs> it's like you're thinking of like you're like I'm Batman, you're Robin. Unlike the sixties one, no. <laughs> Where he always referred to like Robin as his chum. <laughs> I like watching that old 60s Batman show. It was just fun. It was just good old fashioned cheese. So it made it great. I remember watching the reruns when I was like 12. And I always thought it was like the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen. Always just like Meredith Burge's uh, Penguin. <laughs> it's 
his uh, his penguin was awesome. <laughs> Got that? Okay. I think I'm gonna get some extra glass out of this, but that's not a big thing. I think the ribs I'm making tonight are going to work out really well. They're all really good. Mm, be a little short. Well, let's go get some more. I think that might do it right there. Might fill her up. Good. There we go. May not look pretty from the top, but it looks good from the inside. That's all that matters. Pooping on the roof. <laughs> all right. Uh, hmm. You know, we'll just let that finish off with glass. There's not really much you can use with that. You gotta fix all these interiors eventually. Definitely going to have to do something with this. All right, let's get rid of this stuff. Let's get rid of this. Do not need it. Man, I have no idea how I'm going to transport all this. <laughs> Yikes. I don't like you. You're going to break stuff, aren't you? You're going to break something. I know it. Mm, I think we should work on the next gargoyle. Maybe I should work on these steps. Let's 
That's a thought. Hmm. Maybe I don't have to. Maybe I could just extend this over there. Yeah, I think that will look a little bit better. Must have ran out of embers. Yep. Okay. Once again, I'm going to need wood. Make some more bricks, I think. We are going to need them. We don't have to put up. Another set of stairs there. I don't think that'll look better. Do this one. Oh, yeah, that was like too wide, I think. It wasn't. Ah, okay, I cheat kinda cheated it a little bit. Alright. Not like you're gonna see underneath here anyway.
two, three, four. Okay. Too bad a lot of things don't stack. <laughs> That's how I feel about everything sometimes. Oh, that doesn't stack too bad. Nothing stacks. Nothing that you want stacks, at least. Up the white so it doesn't annoy me too much. Definitely going to have to find ways how to make uh, more lighting in here. Definitely missing something here. Don't think I missed any of the lights underneath here. We'll be okay there, I think. See. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I think I'm gonna do that door. I think it will go too complicated with it. Hmm. I don't like how that impedes that. It's obstructing.
go to our warehouse. Guess we'll have to go to a warehouse. Yeah, we got enough, more than enough ammo. Oop, there it is. <laughs> All right, let's hope I didn't rob everything from here. Steal these two while I'm at it. Oh, yeah, those don't stack, of course. Of course, those don't stack. I'm here for. Hey, nobody asked you. Good thing I didn't care. <laughs> trouble.
<laughs> Loser. <laughs> Getting khaki, but I don't really care. <laughs> it's fine. What are you doing? You're you're not coming back. <laughs> Bye. Goodbye. I think we could use these st steel pallets for something. And of course, they don't stack. <laughs> They never stack. You got like a high, uh, yeah, high friction on it. How's the poop going? <laughs> you well established enough poop. I still haven't made poop for any reason. I guess I could make glow sticks out of them, but... I was thinking of using them for, uh... I don't know, can you fire those things out of something? I think you can. I think you could shoot them out of a vacuum disc or whatever. Oof, that itchy ear. Mm. Let's just put this right up here. Should really dismantle that thing. Like a proper flyer. Actually, where's that thing? There we go. Can this thing fit right here? No, it's a little too narrow. Actually, we could probably just slide this over. This all work. Okay. 
guess I'll have to go all the way with that. Commit. No pip poop flinging. We could we could be uh, apes. So yes, we could fling poop for days. That'll be enough of that. And let's go make that. Why not? Yeah, it looks okay, I guess. Let's not forget why we came, went over to that warehouse, though. Let's ninety. Hmm. I think we're gonna have to make a separate tape for that, I think. Yeah, I think so. Disconnect this one, I guess. And have it as its own. Not a big deal. I'll have to hide that somewhere, though. And the logic gate. Probably hide it underneath here. And a logic gate. Get sneaky with it. And I need a button or a Don't 
don't think I have any buttons left. Those switches. Definitely gonna need some switches. Don't wanna make any unless I have some on hand. Let's get over there, I guess. Yeah, I'll just button. No, it looks like I'm out of. Switches, I guess. Mm -hmm. Not too sure about that backing on there. Back draw would be a little bit better. That looks fine. Maybe I could put another do not enter sign on the back of it. It's fine. The only thing I don't like about it, though, that it impedes this way. If I got this walkway, I guess it really does not matter as much. Yeah, it looks good. Good, looks good, looks good.
start building some more permanent stairs, I think. Definitely need some more permanent stairs for this. It's like so really concentrating on how this is going to look. <laughs> Okay, so seven of those, and this one will be seven as well. Mm, actually, let's try something different. And the other question is, where do you want the stairs to start? That's the other question. I'm not too sure about these round ones. I think we will not go with the round ones. I only need one for that one. more of those
This one we'll just cover up with concrete bricks. Just rob all these. <laughs> Wood is becoming valuable again. So long to get all this done. <laughs> Just being nitpicky with all the details. So we have like at least a little bit of depth in here. That's nice. Yeah, and then I had that. Yeah. Okay. Oops. Whoops. There, awesome. Okay, next stairs are done. Should be thinking about these doors too. I think I'll make the same doors as double doors on the other one. Do I have enough? No. Well, I'll have to go to the other warehouse. Do I have enough ammo? 42. Yeah, I'll be fine. Let's just dump a few things off. Okay. Stuff. 
enough stuff to put away. Let's see what this warehouse brings me. Hopefully I didn't rob everything out of it. Get a little cautious around here. Never know this place and I may not even have what I want. There's a few here, that's good. This actually might be enough what I need. Rusted metal blocks? No thank you. Yeah, I think that'll be enough. Yeah, some more here. Sweet.
Jeez, look at all those bots down there. I think I'm gonna have to do some cleanup. Let's go get a shotgun and do some cleanup. Clean up time. This is probably why there's so much lag here. That's a lot of bots down there. Jeez. <laughs> Mind you, I haven't been over here in a while either. I'm kind of not surprised there's so many of these. Not surprised. Probably didn't need to take him out with a shotgun, but eh, why not? <laughs> I think that's enough of those. Don't think I'm going to make another gargoyle today.
feel like those bots should automatically just go into water like that. Too many. Getting booped out. It's almost time to shut her down. Eventually. So many to the middle. Okay. So I'll be five and five, I guess. Those rebat. That's what I was looking for. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see here. We need some more wood somewhere. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Yes, I do not have any more wood. It is crummy. I guess I could steal garbage wood and just change it over, I guess. Mm, I think this one I'll put windows on it, though.
Yeah, I think they just steal some wood somewhere. It's in the corner here. I promise to bring it back. <laughs> Is it worth it? Worth it? Worth it? Worth it? Nah. <laughs> Falling over here. Four switches with that one. Now, the question is, I'm going to have to upgrade this one. Doesn't look like it. It's good. <laughs> Hmm. I wonder why that one's not turning. Can I not set it? You know what? No. We won't do this. We'll just put it on its own. Why not? I have enough controllers I should be able to get its own. here <laughs> be 
being so cheap. Stop being so cheap. Where are we at? All right. Yeah, let's not put that in there right away. Open sesame. <laughs> Maybe it doesn't have enough power. Superbox is slow. Maybe I didn't hook it up right. That's not supposed to be like that. Okay, that should be okay. to go this way. Okay. All right. Door door is done.
All right, I think that's it for today. <laughs> I think I accomplished quite a bit. Got that done. Got this all cleared up, put some windows in. I feel like I accomplished quite a bit. Success. But the less of the suck. <laughs> Oops, probably grabbed that accidentally. Probably should put the windows in too. Not always complete. Just keeps going and going. Still not looking forward to the paint job for this place. <laughs> See, these stairs worked out really well. Let's steal these. We're just going to have to go and make... Grind some more wood out again anyway. That's just going to have to happen. Yeah, I might jet that out a little bit too. Anyway, I think I'm going to cut it out for today. That looks good. Feel satisfied. Close all of my doors. Don't let anything in. Still got to work on this door. I think that'll be the next one. i going to work on this door. And railings. That'll be the next one. I, get, I got enough... Um, I got enough metal. I could probably do it. I got a ton of metal. So, yeah, and I think we'll probably use most likely uh, these ones because they're cheap <laughs> and they stack. And you don't look too cumbersome, especially around the edges here. It's probably the biggest thing is that I don't like how bulky the other ones are. Anyway. Next, next, uh, yeah, next thing's problem. <laughs> next day's problem. The next time you'll probably see me, it might be on Sunday. Me and Red are probably going to go and do some multiplayer and go work on that fiasco. <laughs> Hopefully we'll actually get to play this time. Anyway, I'm going to get out of here. So uh, see you in the next one. Laters.